for me up in the headphones, so Yeah, yeah Yeah Y'all niggas be thinking too much Ay 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 I see Everything around me Ay No need Staying down for my spinach Real G's handle the job and don't fold Gunshots if you survive we say more Run gang spin my rhymes and smoke Cocaine never been high like my flow Niggas burn burn my smoke pipes and do woe Living in a city that's a life that I know no play I'd like to work with you to the world's greatest 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 <laughs> Podcast in the To the, I don't know what we'll go after that. Um, you know, Matty got the same pants on. Guys are twin of them. Twin them. I do not. Uh, Mr. Memo couldn't be triplets, but you know, things happen. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so we haven't been here for a while. There's been a lot of things that have gone on. So I guess this is a bit of a recap. There's some vibes that need to be taken care of. Um, well, did I have, uh, did we do an episode since I got back from Vegas? Nope. Yeah, so Vegas, Houston, New York, but there was no, oh man. Mm-hmm. I should have went to Atlanta, it would have been perfect. Could have played the Drake, Houston, Atlanta, Vegas. Would have been perfect little do 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 do. Um, you don't think so? Just to play it on the, on the backdrop, just like the, uh, okay. That's what I, I did. didn't say that. You looked at me like you didn't, you didn't appreciate that, I but you know, like, I, I like, okay, I was talking to someone and I was like, lyrics, like, you know, like, I like talking in lyrics, not like I like talking in lyrics, but like, responding to a very comical or even like, um... Dram- uh, you know, traumatic situation with lyrics is just quite funny. Like, this is not four years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, and randomly, for what it's worth, Drake got a lot of them. Jigga got a lot of them. And Kanye, like, I listened to all the, well, because, you know, uh, the other day was Easter. So <laughs> I was listening to the Kanye, and I was like, wow, it's just a lot of good quotables from the Kanye. Which Kanye and, were you listening to? Yeah, Oh, so for the Easter, I started with the life of Pablo, because it only felt right, you know, just, ah, we don't want no devils in here. Oh, my like, Jesus. So I felt that. And then we went to the uh, Donda, because, you know, that's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of keep my spirit alive. There's a lot of good vibes there. So we did that. After I did the Donda, what else did we do after that? We did one more kind. Oh yeah, I did the the joint where I think I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, I thought what? about killing you. That's my shit. I pulled up the left one. I could <laughs> on the Easter. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's going on. Well. No, that was it. You know, we gotta go through all the facets. God rose, and you know, he died. He rose, resurrected. I I was getting in the whole weekend from Palm. Um, <laughs> From Good Friday to Easter, I did it all. Mr. Palm John? Palm Saturday? Mm-mm. It's Good Friday, man. Palm Sunday. But that was a week earlier. Yeah, stand. They got the palms and all that. Yeah. Got them in the crib. Of course. No. They crossed up. Good vibes. I fucks with, um, oh, actually, I was telling the good man, Bad Bino, I was like, Easter is basically like, um, Valentine's Day Holy in the shit. sense that like niggas <laughs> niggas don't be niggas don't be banging church it's for like a year and then Easter they niggas just be on it and it's just like when did that happen bro? Like you've been you've been committing sins all year and now Easter time you put on a suit and uh, you do some you know some bunny hatching and now you're a good person again? Like I mean I'm not one to judge but I am judging so <laughs> Hey man, you know, 
Easter is that shit for the church home, man. That is their day, man. That's what I'm saying. Like that's just Christian like day. just like Valentine's Day is for lovers, like. Niggas don't be doing no shit, do but post up on Valentine's Day and be like, you know, just the love of my life. Like, all right, that's what's up. It's like with God, like, niggas don't be having no smoke for Jesus from until Easter. Until Easter. And then they like, oh, I'm yeah, I, I fucks with the niggas big J. Niggas was tweeting about Curtis was gay, like, a week or two before. What? Yeah. <laughs> that Jesus was gay? Yeah. I think it's that Come old. on, man. See, that's why I don't be on the internet no more. Absolutely not. Uh, well, I'm trying now. Andrew Santino, he's a comedian. Oh, uh, he was joking? Okay. Yeah, well, special about it. And then people actually, like, uh, saw it, and then they started. You know, uh, you, know how to, you know how to think pieces get. Yeah, once people make jokes, uh, that's just for them. Yeah. And so that happened. And yeah. so I was just like, oh, man, you know, stuff of the law. <laughs> Yeah, but that's how I'm feeling about Easter. You know, like, Easter's an overall good holiday. Like, I'm fucking with the G.O.D. and the Jesus, but it's just like, y'all don't really be banging with the Jesus from May to, like, March. And, you know. Say, from May to Lent. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually fucking with Lent next year because I ain't done a proper Lent since I was, like, in, like, the fifth grade. So, like. But you won't give up, guy. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give up something real next year. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just dedicate myself to a true no meat on Fridays. I'm going I'm going all in. Smart like that. Yeah. Next year though, I gotta prepare myself mentally. For sure, baby. You know what I'm saying? May Allah guide you. May Allah open your doors. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm saying I fuck with all of it. Oh, well. Now that we're talking about religion, Dalai Lama, cause. <laughs> yes, he out, here, he out here kissing people in the mouth and whatnot. Nice. Well, not people, but kids, and telling them to suck on their tongue. Whole that's tongue, that's kind of nasty behavior. Same well, not on national TV, bro. That's very nasty behavior. But my thing is that I hope, like this, like this can't be a one-off. Like I hope people don't like. I don't. I don't have no evidence or proof. But like, you, you don't do that publicly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was way too smooth. <laughs> on, on that TV. was real smooth, dude. That's not a one-off, bro. He's a professional. <laughs> Sick bastard, man. You saw it? No, nah, I just read the clip though, okay. or read the whatever. I I, I couldn't uh, tell myself to press play. Uh, bro, I was uh, just I saw suck a tongue in. This I only know one person who's like, like, like a bro, Buddhist. Yeah. And it's funny when you see things like large, like you see people who are Dalai Lama is basically a a very important figure within he the Pope. Within you know that that religion or just that group, and you see people who are part of that group be like, whoa, 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 don't bring me into this shit. I I don't want no smoke, and it's funny because it's just like that's how we drew every group, and I and I wish more people would realize that like you're not immune from that. Like yeah. whatever group you think you're part of, like you're 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 you're, 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 you're gonna get the smoke. Yeah, you're gonna get the smoke for the judgment, like the rest of them. So mm-hmm. like we should not that we should be you know. Lenient, but we should be like the idea of grace is something I think maybe you should want to give a bit more than, oh yeah, all these people are this, like all Republicans are this, all these people are this because it's a, it gets real slippery when one of yours does something and now everyone's like, all of y'all are like this, and you like, whoa, 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 whoa not, not, that's <laughs> not me. Y'all like that, huh? Little kids sucking tongues, eh? That's wild. Freak, <laughs> freak boy. Maybe I should watch the show just to see how wild it is. It's, 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 it's cringeworthy for sure. I just don't know why yeah. you give it up like that and then you just act like we're like, you know, the rest of us is wild. Like, buddy, that's weird. Yeah, don't look that up on your work phone, champ. <laughs> I'm not looking at that. If it finds me again, I'll press play. I'm not. I'm not. Good. Don't look that up on my work phone. It's crazy. MSFW, bro. Uh, <laughs> keeping with <laughs> fooling. Um, <laughs> keeping with the theme of social issues. Omatic sent me some shit this morning. He was like, he just sent me a screenshot, mm. and it was like a school shooting thing or a shooting. They joined at the bank in Kentucky, I believe. Yeah. And this nigga was like a school shooting another day. I thought it was gonna be about some kids, cause you know, 
normally your man be having the kid, you know, when the, when the school shootings happen, he be, he be on it. He be like, damn. But this was just like a regular shooting. He was just like every day. And it got me thinking like, at what point is it just like, yo, everyone just go get strapped up? Because I'm going to tell you, it's another story I heard in Texas. We've been saying that. No, nah, no, nah, you have been saying it. But what I'm saying is that like, it's one thing when like, the avid gun guy is like, because you're the gun guy here, is like, oh, go get strapped up. Yeah, of course. You know, like. And that's more so saying that because of the laws changing. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because well, it's just those, like the way that the laws are changing and the way they favoring the people that we don't want to have guns. It's just like, all right, bro, like, it's now it's time. Because it's just like, in a sense, gun laws is way looser in a lot of states. Maryland is not loosening up shit. But I think that was my point because then I don't know if you guys saw in Texas, the dude who got convicted of killing somebody at like a Black Lives Matter, the governor was like, yo, I'm about to pardon because. <laughs> so, as well. yeah. So I'm just saying like, if you live in a society where like, all right, everybody's getting strapped and even people who are getting strapped to move point, <laughs> go get a strap, gun laws, you know, we get to the point where it's a little looser, so go get one. If if you we, if we at that point, and the nigga in Texas literally said, "Oh, I shot them because they had a gun and I was scared." At what point are we at in the game? Hey. I'm just I'm just asking just for. <laughs> just, well, that's, a, that's a great question. I, I don't know, but we that, that's at the end of it, honestly. Like. Mm-hmm. Like we want to keep it a bean. That's what it sounds like. Because what part of the what part of the game is like? Texas, all right, but Texas also like its own country though. Like, them niggas like they stand your ground laws are like way like. But we seen it in Florida. We seen stand your ground shit in Florida too. Yeah, right? but the way that they do shit in Texas is like. I mean, the governor literally he was convicted. Yeah. A jury of his peers convicted him, and the governor said, <laughs> "I'm about to pardon him." I'm about to pardon him. So I'm just saying, like, for all the like, go get strapped. I I feel it. Like I'm not mad at the concept, but what do you do? What do you tell somebody who like is strapped, mm-hmm. was strapped, got shot at, got murdered because they were strapped? The law uh, uh, found someone guilty, but someone is about to get off because. Someone just said, like, oh, I, was I think you could get off. Yeah. Like, like I'm just saying, like, hey, we, bro, I man. think it's very easy to tell people, yo, go get strapped. But, yeah. like, at a certain point, when do you be like, yo, maybe we live in a society that's, like, kind of archaic and, like, definitely getting strapped is just, like, it's just a crapshoot. So, like, you could be you could be strapped, <laughs> all this, all this shoot somebody, crap-shoot. shoot somebody, and then be like, all right, I'm fine. Or shoot somebody and then go to jail. Yep. Or not shoot somebody and then be dead. So like with the strap on with you. the strap on you. So like what what are we saying? Hey. It's the life of the strap. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Saying is old as time. But but see then that's not fair. You just told niggas. Yeah, strap. Yeah, sure did. So But so, it's also things that come with that. There's consequences and this is like energies and things that come with it. Like, For sure, but like harvesting that, that type of. But then we got, but see, that's what I'm saying. I I agree to all that, but then we can't be here to tell the people go get strapped. Like it yeah, can't be man. like yo. But that's the thing though. It's just like it can't, like if that's what you want to do. Like I can advise you to do that. That doesn't mean you have to do that because it's just like you don't necessarily because that doesn't necessarily guarantee your safety. Like you know what I'm saying? Like sure don't. Like. I was just saying, like, if that makes you feel safer, by all means, like, you have the rights to go ahead and do so. But you got the just, right to do a lot of things. Yeah, bro. but it's just like, just know, like, this is like they didn't stop making guns when, when you made yours. <laughs> like, yeah. No, you no, know? no, no, no. That's a <laughs> if anything. That's the tell us yeah. all this time. Yeah, like you know, they didn't stop making. Oh, guns with that being said, yours, they didn't so. stop making degrees when they made yours too. Like people be mm-hmm. like, yo. I have a degree on something, and now, like, it's just like, you're not an expert. You just got a degree. Like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of niggas with degrees and a lot of things. They're not, they're not the end-all, be-all. So, like, you just got to stop with a lot. Like, just because you got something, that, 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 ain't, that, ain't, that ain't where it is. We can roll another one, bro. That joint's, that joint's been sitting there for days. Yes, sir. Which, yeah. But, no, I mean, you know, that's a great question. Because I, like, personally, I go back and forth with it, like... Just like, hey, strap, no strap, you know? 
<laughs> it's just like, it's, but at the same time, it's just like you just if you do, you do. You don't, you don't. If you do, carry yourself a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Gun safety. I'm also a big advocate for gun safety. Like I'm not just a gun guy. Like if you have one, please learn how to hold, clean, um, shoot, load. All of those things. Um, I prefer guns with safeties. A lot of guys don't. Um, keeping one in the head is not necessary. Um, but that's just me. So, yeah, you know, that's about, you also live by those codes. So, but yeah, you know, if you want a gun, get one. If you don't, then don't. If you do mm-hmm. get one, get a gun that's a gun for you. Like, that just don't get out, go out here acting like you're a rapper. Go like, out here acting like you're a rapper. It's dude, hilarious. It's just buying four or fives and shit like that. I mean, we're shaped, you shape like me. It's just like, bro, it's a lot of gun for a nigga shaped like us, my nigga. So, go ahead and go about so it. Push us, man. Nah, for sure. But at the same time, it's just like get that, 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 re- arm, get that arm, the recoil was different. You know what I'm saying? I feel you, brother, but you know, it's another, it's some other things that take niggas down too. But that's another. You see what I'm saying? That's the problem. See, ultimately, it's the problem. That that end statement is some other thing that takes. Like, see, this is what see, this is thing. Like, I would be super here for guns just as a concept. If it wasn't like you like be you be a facet- you be a facetious, so it's whatever. But, but it's too many niggas who's really like, like yo, yeah, what, man, this is what, 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 what can I have? have? And it's yeah. just like we can't live it. Like honestly, because <laughs> niggas don't have good aim. If, if niggas <laughs> yeah, have right, niggas yeah, have yeah, better yeah. aim, I'd be like, oh, yeah. sure. You want to shoot? Who will you want to shoot? Mm-hmm. Fine, go do your thing. But he's like, out here shooting babies, y'all be shooting, pe- y'all be shooting anybody, kids, anybody. Like, anybody is dying just because you don't get, because you got bad aim. Like, no, that's that, that that doesn't sit right with me personally. Doing drive bys and shit. Like, you know, like if you want to walk up on somebody and shoot them, my 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 brother in Christ, God bless. Deal with deal with that as you see fit. But what I'm not, what I'm not, is like you just going like, ooh, say you driving by somebody's neighborhood and just shooting up shit like. Why are we doing that? Just because you think he out there. Like what? Like what are we doing? Like are we just trying to terrorize neighborhoods to terrorize neighborhoods? Like, like that's ter- like that's literally terrorist behavior. Mm-hmm. Like, not, like come on, you guys. Like let's 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 be let's be real. Streets is wild. But my thing about it is that like <laughs> everyone just is like, oh, streets is wild. Like that can't once <laughs> at a certain point that cannot yeah, just yeah, yeah. that cannot just that be can't like just be status quo. yeah that can't just be like a, a a means of like oh that's just how we live streets are wild right at this point like, what's the difference between if this people and were just raping people country? ad nauseum and like no one felt like at least people were being like if there were serial rapists just out here and people didn't feel like things were being done like there are people who rape people out here but I don't think people feel as that they're serial rapists, and maybe people do. I don't know. Never heard the R word so many times. But with that being said, like if if that was just going on, people wouldn't just be like, "That's the R word." <laughs> people wouldn't be like, "That's just that's just okay." People wouldn't be like, "That's just how gang goes." People be like, "Yo, let's do something about it. Let's stop people from doing this. Like, let's have more presence." Like, people just be like, "Oh yeah," people just be getting killed. Like, speaking of guns, I got a text. Last week, they told me you need to get a shotgun and a pistol. I've been contemplating this. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> I have too many. Some that could even incriminate people. So. Ask one. No. no. God bless. Yeah. God bless. It's about sweet. my cousin. So it makes sense. From your cousin? Yeah. Okay. Makes sense from him. Pete? Yeah. Of oh, yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Let's question his name. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was coming No from context from him at all. When he said but that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I was I, like, bro, what? I didn't really want to get into why, you know. I said, okay, bro. You know what I mean? You know, I'll, look at, I'll look into it. That's crazy that I'll look into it. I was like, kids, crib, get you a protection, man. I was like, all right, baby, shit. It's context. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the first was get a gun. Get a shotgun, bro. All right, so I know you. It's midnight, my nigga. Like, what are you talking about? Is everything okay? What's happening, bro? Oh yeah, I I went to the final for you guys. I'll talk about that more when we get to the sports section. But there was something that I saw here 
um, that I really wanted to talk to you about in particular. So there was this thing about, um, let me read this passage. So there's this young lady named Kate from New York. She (laughs) said, I once invited four friends to an intimate dinner at a pizza restaurant to celebrate her birthday. One friend showed up 25 minutes late. It was a little rude, a little annoying, but not the end of the world, she says. She says. I felt like I was still super polite to her and warm. After dinner, a low-key bar visit, the night wrapped early, and she went home. Close to midnight, uh, the other friend of the girl called. She says, I need to address this. You made me feel unsafe and unloved tonight. Says, I went, excuse me? And she says, yeah, your demeanor was a little off, and this has been building for a while, and you made me feel really left out. The girl had no idea what prompted this outburst, and on her birthday, no less, I'm racking my brain to think, what did I do other than to invite you to a really intimate dinner with my closest friends and hug you and have drinks with you, she says. Of course, I got (laughs) off the phone and immediately cried and felt like shit. This is about some girl who said um, her she went another girl went to a therapist and was telling her about you know her friend and and, I, and her and her therapist told her this and this is what she ended up coming to tell her friend at the dinner <laughs> and I saw that tweet basically I haven't watched The Sopranos and I've seen a few episodes but somebody was like well this is what the therapist at the end of The Sopranos ends up realizing that do became a better psychopath. Mm -hmm. And he was like, that's what basically has happened with a lot of people's narcissism, that people are going to therapy and just becoming better narcissists Mm -hmm. through their relationships with therapists. So. (laughs) 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 Okay. I'll take some costume. <laughs> Supreme, Supreme jokes. Segment brought to you by Casamigos. The uh, liquor guy said I can say that. So. And Lily of the Now. And Lily of the Now. Should drink it. I might pour it in here. Yeah. Get a mixy. Um, so, so what do you what do you want that, from me, Charles? With that being with said, this, as Jesus someone Christ. who as someone who has you know recently. Found themselves started my journey in mm-hmm. therapy. Mm-hmm. Do you see that as like I can see the vibes? I can see the bag. Yeah. Do you see that as something like not feasible for yourself, maybe per se, but for like what you have seen from therapy, from what you know? Yeah. I mean, I can see it as being the bag. I only say that because I feel like your therapist ain't about to bash you or make anything you say about you seem like it's bad. Um, I just try to get answers as to thinking about it and like, why did you do said decision, right? They're not going to say you did to this wrong. I'm trying to make you figure out why you did it so I can see how that could feed into the narcissistic bag. It's just like, oh yeah, maybe I wasn't wrong doing this. Maybe it's because I was going through X, Y, and Z, or maybe I wasn't old enough to do X, Y, Z type shit. So then you're just thinking to yourself, oh, maybe I'm not the fucking problem. Maybe whatever else is the problem. So I can see how that can feed the narcissistic bag. But I also don't understand how you said, Shorty said, to go to said function and address this. Like, this is the girl going to someone's party and trying to address her issues. No, this is the girl. She was like, her. this is her old friend. She's okay. explaining the what her old friend, friend did. Uh-huh. Yes. She was late. The old friend was late? Yes. Or the one that was explaining this was no, late? No, the old friend was late. The okay. one who was, that's what she was saying. She was like, you can't, like, she was like, I'm... Okay, and that's why I was trying to get to, because I was like, so you came late, and then you wanted to address the fact that you felt The ultimate point is that she said that she felt like the, the girl was like, yo, this is what she learned. And, like, basically all her responses were, you know, coded language mm-hmm. from, you know, a therapist about this and that. Like, oh, when you feel... And I'm just curious because we live in a society of everyone... Okay, now. New now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. We live in a society of most people b- believing that their 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 behavior 
in most instances is justified. Mm. Like I don't I haven't met too many people, man, woman, black, white, rich, poor, da da da, who who's just like, you know, it's my fault. Like most people have some form form of justification. And if you like have people like someone like a professional or a th- someone being like, all right, like, so X, Y, Z, well, like you said, like maybe, doesn't that make it so much easier to just like go around like using a bunch of big words that like a, m- a bunch of other people don't know me and like, well, you hurt me and you're like, okay, I guess. <laughs> nah, I, like that ass, like, tell me, I don't understand, like, cause that's the thing, like why I brought up the thing about degrees. Like, I feel as though mm-hmm. a lot of people you use the idea of like academia to kind of belittle people and be like, oh, well, I know this, you don't know this. So now all of a sudden, like, you can, I, I can talk about this or you can. And it's just like, is that really how life works? <laughs> like, do you all of a sudden get to just because, like, you sat down with somebody and, like, you talked out your feelings? Like, I don't know. I don't, maybe you do. Maybe because like you went to school for this for economics degree, you you got all the answers on like how we should how we should handle things. But like maybe somebody who works in the bank has just as many answers and they didn't go to that school. So like I'm I'm always curious as to like how people see it that like what they know or what they have ends up being maybe the standard or the barrier and why that is. Just I'm just because I'm I'm seeing it a lot with like a lot with this idea of like emotional intelligence. People are like, "Yo, I do X Y Z." So my and it's just like, are your chakras really aligned more because like you be doing yoga? I don't know. I just I can I can't I can't say that for a fact. Maybe that is true. Maybe maybe going to the therapist has you like far more enlightened than, but like. Maybe you're just a better narcissist than the rest of us too because you do that. Like maybe maybe your chakras aren't aligned. Maybe you're just way more flexible, so like you can deal with bullshit a little bit better than the rest of us who are a little bit more tightly wind up. You think uh, my narcissistic levels have risen in the past? No, <laughs> no I don't think. See, but that's the thing. I think. Uh, but I know. I, I was just I feel asking. Like, uh, I've said this to you about like. Therapy in general, like it's it's still a it's still like healthcare and it's still like going to any sort of doctor. So it's just as much on the patient as it is the on the doctor. So like right. there's You're people about there's people go to their doctors all the time and lie to them about ailments and things that are feeling in their body and then they wonder why they ultimately can't get better. It's cause when the doctor's asking you you're like, Oh, it's this when you it's really this and if you told them they could probably diagnose you better and help you get better but if you're gonna lie then what what good could come out of it and i think that's ultimately with the same thing with their like still healthcare, still doctor so if you're gonna not maybe be a you know honest or whatever you need to be like i, I guess everyone has different so i don't know like once again <laughs> everyone has different elements in their body so whatever you need out of the situation if you're not gonna do i guess the proper work to make that thing happen then it won't matter how many there you know it won't matter how much therapy you go to how many therapists you go to that's that nothing so i mean to answer your question no i don't think your narcissistic vibes have i know the answer um I just want to see if you were have moved up but you know moved highlight up. me in three months maybe maybe have a different answer for you it's actually an interesting take I might take that back to you know, be like hey you know they're saying you make narcissistic people even more narcissistic <laughs> see that's what I'm saying they're saying no I'm not saying they're saying they're saying, they're saying. They're saying. They're saying. They're saying that's what y'all doing out here not what y'all doing but I, I I definitely think it's it's a no, that's an interesting take yeah it's, I mean, it's something to I ask. can see it Cause they ain't gonna say you, you flat out wrong. They should. <laughs> My lady would tell me if I'm fucking wild. They would. Yeah. Think they're therapists. You know what I'm saying? Like, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, there has to be some. Doesn't there have to be some resemblance of honesty in anything. Yeah. But also, they're just like. Because if she, if they are, if they aren't being honest with you, how do they like? It causes like that's. I feel like that's the only way to get somebody to be what like um. What's that word called? You're vulnerable? No. 
self something. Self aware. Self aware and stuff like that. Somebody call you out on your shit, like to make you be like, make you honestly see it. And I'm like, hey, bro, like you didn't see how you were wilding in the situation. Like, really? someone definitely hit me with the, you was wilding. I was like, <laughs> and they was like, no, I was just joking. I was like, no, that's respect. I was like, yeah. sometimes you gotta tell somebody they wilding. Yeah, for sure. I'm kidding my ass. Sometimes tell somebody they wilding isn't. <laughs> Isn't to hurt their feelings, it's just to let them, you know, yeah. like, bro, put you things in context. For like, sure. Yo, like, that shit you did wasn't really, wasn't really it. Things happen. Shout didn't out to them girls, man. Didn't help the situation. What girls? Though. Your story, regardless. Hopefully they good, you know. Oh, no, this was an article. That's what I'm saying. This is an article that I was reading. I seen someone tweet about it, and then they made the, the Sopranos reference. And it made me think, like, yo, how many people, like... Because here's the thing. If you really think about it, if you're really not having someone, like, tell you the truth, but, they're, but they are telling you something and you're telling them stuff back, what good is that doing? Like, if you're li- like, I, I always ask you this, like, what happens if you lie to... You was like, why would you do that? I was like, but why? But people you lie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so it was just like, with that being known... Does that change how you see, not your therapy, but, like, does that change how you overall see the idea of it? Like, ooh. Okay. Why people get into it, why people don't get into it, all that good shit. Just question. Nothing too crazy. At least in my opinion. Good vibes. Good vibes. I do think that it does uh, get into that level of what you were saying, or like, a degree is a degree with some people, you know, try to over, you know. Just because you're in therapy don't mean you're better than the next nigga that ain't type shit. And I feel like niggas be off the, you know, I'm in the therapy, I'm better type shit. It's just like, okay. But but think about it, is that, is that not human nature? People be like, yo, I'm in a luxury car. I'm uh, yo, do you see how the way people drive who have any sort of luxury car? Like, they would literally drive, like, their cars. On. It's like, buddy, just because your car, just because your, just because the insurance is going to go up if, if you crash doesn't mean... For some reason, you're allowed to just act like this on the road. But people definitely, <laughs> and like, I would love to see if like, there's a study ever done on the subconscious of like, people who drive luxury cars, and the things they, you know, how many more accidents are they in, or are they, you know, or not? Because that should be crazy to me sometimes. I'd be like, yo, there's no way. You're gonna just be driving like this because you got this fucking Mercedes Benz. Like, you cannot just cross three lanes. I promise you, you're not allowed to do this. But that's why I fuck with niggas when they be doing it in the hoopty. It's like, yes, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm super here for it. It doesn't matter to me type of cat. What like, if they did it in the hoopty first? But see, that's what I like. Like, they're, they're, you know, you can always tell when like that's that's somebody's. But for example, my uncle used to drive this bench truck and my god like the way he would drive sometimes I'd be like yo this is pretentious ass driving like, <laughs> like why are you driving like you like you are like your car can't be hit like people should be like scared it's like no bro we're on the road together like you're driving a vehicle drive the fucking car I don't care if it's a Benz you just drive drive not to get hit drive to make it safe that's how you should be driving Niggas be driving like they fucking in the presidential joint. Like, no, nigga. It is still a whip. <laughs> Th- four wheels and an engine like the rest of the other fucking cars on the road. Suspension and exhaust. Girl, oh, please act like... <laughs> please act. Please act accordingly. Please. That's what niggas don't act like. That's the problem, bro. You have to stop uh, allowing niggas to just do shit like that's not acting that's accordingly. That's the problem. Niggas, they act accordingly. They're not acting the accordingly. Ultimately. Yeah. Ultimately, like, yo, demise. Oh, a car is a car, bro. It is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, while your car is a luxury car. Very nice me- uh, vehicle. Beautiful vehicle. Lovely interior. Lovely exterior. Details immaculate. Can go from zero to 60 in point. Yo, mm-hmm. things that I can't eat. German leather. So beautiful. <laughs> At the end of the day, what is the function of a car? <laughs> Point A, point B. Point to drive you from point A to point B. <laughs> Listen, maybe you get more girls in your car because they like it. But at the end of the day, like, the older I get, the more it's like, yo, if that's going to be the deal breaker for certain things, then you got it, bro. 
Like, if the girl is going to go with the guy with the nicer car, then you just have to enjoy that. Like, that's that's how it has to be, in my opinion. Leave that girl alone, guys. That's my point. You don't need that. So, like, at a certain point, you got to decide. You got to decide. Like, I think you have to decide what you want. Like, I'm not mad if Just you have to get money. Bro, if, if you decide that you want the girl who wants that, then do that. But, like, I don't want to hear you complaining about why she do that. You know? Exactly. Just like if you want the girl who, the uh, the Janae Aiko, you know, artsy-fartsy type of charity, when she be doing that weird wild shit, you got to yeah. live with that too, bro. You wanted that, like. Know your know your clients. Got you out here drinking moon water. You know that was a good time. That was a good. Time. <laughs> I didn't have it. I was just referencing the time when moon water was once a. <laughs> I never oh never had the moon water, but the times when the moon water was a topic around here. Dude, that was a good time. It's crazy. Fun time. Yo, the niggas really broke it down and explained. I was like, I'm dead ass, bro. Niggas put water outside. What the fuck are you talking about? Niggas are wolves. Yeah, like, come on, son. Got charged by the moon at night, son. Go to the lake, my nigga. (laughs) Fuck. Niggas niggas say go to the lake. Bro, don't talk about them young ladies like that. I'm sorry. Let them witches do them. (laughs) Witches. It's not like I'm trying to burn them at the stake. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, they good. <laughs> what a world, bro. Yo, you really, do you think we, like, live amongst witches? You said, do I think we do? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure some Jones out here practicing the dark arts. But, like, do you think they're at, see, because it's one thing to practice something. It's another thing to be able to summon shit. So you, yes. You, yes. So you you thinking they conjuring up? I, I believe yes. in, I believe in the spirit. So yeah. conjuring up, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm so serious. No, that is, bro. They, they, dark magic is talked about in the Quran, bro. Like they, they, they bitches out here, baby. There's some couple jumps in New yeah, Orleans sure. right now going crazy. Conjuring up, man. You gotta relax. No, for real, bro. <laughs> you know, they, they, they talking to ancestors whole the time. They talking to demons. I have no idea, bro. That's the side. I'm not going. I'm not going to fake. That's if if I knows. could talk to the ancestors, I'd get jiggy. Yeah, you want to get jiggy? I don't know. With James on that one. That's a little creepy. You want to get jiggy? No, bro. Let them cheese. Like, if they, came to, if they came to you, like, it's awesome dream shit, like, to come talk to you, like. I mean, that's cool. That's different, though. Like, I ain't summoning them, though. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to here talk to Ouija. Like, yeah. Broad day. Yeah, we, okay, okay, okay. I okay. Okay. with the Ouija. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, like, I get some. I'm hoping, like, can we can we get summoning through osmosis? Like, could, like, what, could, like somebody summon and, like, be like, go <laughs> talk to Chuck. And then yeah, because they, they summon someone, they gonna talk to me. <laughs> Nah, for real, yo. What's up? Say a prayer, man. Right now. What is this, man? We see them at Jenna. Thank you, bro. This nigga is crazy, man. Yo, you can't. Like, like, what? No, nigga. He said he's through osmosis. I'm like, yo, bro. That was crazy. That was crazy. Just a little bit. Nigga just like, uh, through my energies in my body. <laughs> through the cells. I want them to feel me and connect with me. And they come holler at me. No, no. What I need is the, the witches to do the, the whatever no, they no, do. No, 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 After no, they do it, I don't want no be like, me. boom, boom, boom. Go go talk to Chuck. Who you yeah, trying right. to talk to, guys? Yeah, right. A few people. They going to pull up, take a lock in your head, nigga. You ain't never going to be the same. Yeah, bro. Bro, like, <laughs> it's not gonna be the same. Oh, shit. We, gotta talk. Hey, bro. we need you good. Nigga said you took a lot of here. Yo, that shit is crazy. Like, think about that shit. But see, if, yes. if they did that, how would I know? Like, I'm, that's I, at this point, I'm, I'm saying, like, Sam, yes, to give me. What saying, but, like, what if some lost yeah, time, lost For time, example, <laughs> what if some shorty here, you know, just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You got your shit. Uh, Motherfucking comb go missing for two days. You she know. come back over there, comb back again, clean. I'm like, hold on. Yeah, Last time I used this, I combed my beard. I did not clean it out. I'm saying, bro. Now, you, I'm saying. Now I'm gonna get you. I'm not fucking with you, Charles. Like, I'm just like, bro. I'm just not saying you. I'm saying, what how did you get here? How did, how did you get here? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shoes on your neck and shit. Yeah, like, it's over for you. Now you're obsessed. This, bro. Now you're obsessed. <laughs> I can't get enough after that. I'm good, bro. You said you were trying to fall in love, bro. They say Jones be Who said that? Blood you said that. When I said that. I literally have it in text. I can, oh. I can scroll. It wasn't today. Did you apply? Did you apply? 
Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> so all right, let's go. Thank you. I'm glad you brought that up. I didn't finish my application. So love is blind. I damn is- sure didn't <laughs> either. Like it was too much. So love is blind is coming to DC apparently. And I need the guys to get on it. Cause I'm, saying, I'm, never trying, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to make some cameos on the show. Never man. watched. It, so. I'm trying to pull up and be I like. I just started watching season four just cause of Chuck hit the group chat with that shit. Nigga, I'm trying to get like, niggas on Love Is Blind it. DC and see what's popping. Like, I have a friend who sent me a video of uh, two minutes of the episode, and I was like, bro, are they dead ass, bro? I'm like, come on, man. It's not, I'm just can't do it. I go fools. I talk somebody behind a little white. That's what bro. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> you never go with the pods. Yeah. You never go with the pods, bro. Just be like, why not? I was on episode oh, two and it was like, I love you. And I was just like, episode two? Bro. You know We've been talking for like a week, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, what are we doing, no, no, bro? No, you never, you, you've never <laughs> met a show and been like, like, I love you. Bro, they didn't even meet. What are you talking about? They're just talking, bro. You don't even know what she looked like. It's all voice, bro. All vibes, bro. It is all vibes. <laughs> it's all voice, bro. It's not vibes, bro. You smell kitty. Bro, like, what? Come on, son. It's not, bro. Feel that aura. Endless calm. No, bro. Yeah. So much convo, nigga. I would Fuck hate. That. I would hate to be vibing with a shorty and just be like, "Damn, she's white." That's, That's what I'm saying, bro. The curtain come back, and now I'm stuck with you. I already banged. Her. I love you. Like I gotta turn back. Come on, son. Anyway, the application was wild, though, bro. This is back to give it up like damn, you know. Like so I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Talking about the father and shit. Yeah. Now you just pull out. Now you lock like, them. You know, you, 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 you <laughs> come around the curve, you like, I'd be devastated. Nah, they gotta be happy, bro. Nah, I'm gonna just start crying. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna know if it's happy, sad, joy, sorrow, nothing. Just tears. <laughs> That's the best, that's the best <laughs> reaction. Then you gotta give her a hug, a little time, a little long jump. Be like, damn, I'm fucked up. You gotta, yeah. look, you gotta look in the camera. Take it all in. Yeah, you gotta look in the camera and be like, nigga <laughs> yeah. said, I oh. fucked Hold on, so what's the premise of it? Because I know you talk behind. So how long is they talking behind a wall until that shit? Two weeks or some shit. Two weeks? Yeah. But like they need before that because like they do like some. Ch- I saw the first season. The first season was actually kind of funny. And then you want to go live if you, like, after you decide, like... You're on vacation. Then, like, you go with, with, you know, stay with each other for a few weeks. Like, the first time they went to, like, live in Atlanta or some shit. And, like, uh, a makeshift season four, shit. season four, they in Mexico. And then when they get back, they go live with each other. I ain't get that far yet. I'll probably, I'll probably watch that tonight when I get home and eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't fuck with it, why not? Niggas is facing the love is blind, bro. Yeah. Like that, man. He get ready, bro. Yeah, sure. Get ready, about to be on the show, bro. Yeah. Listen, bro. Yeah, the application wanted too much. They should have asked my damn blood type. <laughs> <laughs> niggas wanted a selfie. Niggas wanted a, a full body pic. Niggas wanted a video. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, all niggas this shit. TikToks. Full- like, bro, I don't even got TikTok, bro. I don't have a TikTok. Facebook? Come on, son. What <laughs> fuck is we doing? They want the full body pic. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Oh, I, I stop right there. <laughs> I stop right there. Dad, by got me, Slim. I was with Eric. I was about to do the video. They was, niggas asking kid questions. I was there. <laughs> they said the full body joke. I was like, hold on. I sure gotta be on the off. What do y'all want? <laughs> hey, what you think I'm about to do, bro? Love ain't that blind, my nigga. I got to do it with the full body. (laughs) What got him? The full body. He mentioned it twice. He mentioned it twice. I was like, it was the full body. Bro, like, why do they want that? Like, what are we doing? (laughs) Son, like, what the fuck? (laughs) Niggas is body shaming? (laughs) What do you mean why they want the full body pic, nigga? (laughs) I'll take it. Nigga, you ask for everything else, bro. Go to my Instagram. You ask for the page. Go to the page. Find that shit. Why I gotta say you, you this joke, man? Full body pick on this. Oh my god. Nah, it's up there. You might be built up. <laughs> oh my god. Love can fucking nah, fuck that, bro. 
Niggas wild and submitting all that. Niggas wild and submitting all that shit, bro. That was like question 35 where that shit was at. And there was still more after that, bro. Like, niggas is really wild for submitting all that shit, bro. Like, what? Application crazy. Like, what is this, bro? Absolutely, bro. We were done. We were done. He said, he said kids, no problem. Bro, you, know what you got kid too, nigga. Like, you know, nigga. We can move on from this question. Nigga. Oh, what? Nah. Fool. Nah. Hold on, Fool. man. What? I was in the car. I was like, nigga, you want me to stand up and get out the car? Like, I'm not doing all that right now. I said, oh. nigga, I'm gone. So. <laughs> Swipe out of this shit. <laughs> Multitask. Yeah, like, nigga, get this shit out of here. I man. am truly, truly weak. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be like this man. I'm gonna be like this man. I'm gonna be like this Good for them. Get some good little city modes and that stuff, man. So I'm waiting on that jump, bro. Go ahead, man. Yo, I am like the full body. It's gonna be endless. <laughs> it's gonna be endless. N A on that jump, though, because it's gonna be like I don't get this. Don't get that. Don't get that. Don't get that. Big N A on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, yeah. Don't, don't get that. Don't get that. Got to. What the fuck are you talking about? There's some A, y'all niggas. There's some bad A's. I got it all. Trust me. Yeah, I get the all A's right, out. Oh my god. Uh, the full body. Listen, that's the look of the title. That's full gonna, body. That's really going to be on my mind for some time. I'm not going to hold you. Like, I'm going to be thinking about that for a while. This nigga said the full body. He's like, that's what I had enough, bro. I had yeah, a full bro. body. Come on, man. You tripping. Let's get serious, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? They thought they were serious. Nah, bro. <laughs> so Niggas talking so behind so the curtain, <laughs> son. <laughs> What are we doing, man? Fact, that is kind of bro, like, what are we doing, bro? Like, niggas want me to watch that, bro? Come on, man. Can ask for full body after you want me to talk with that's the Can't lie, the little video my man said, was it Brett, the nigga that's from Oregon? Talking to Shorty, all right, bro. Shorty, all right. A little thick jump, Houston and shit. Okay. I don't like him in Houston and shit. Yeah, we'll get one to Houston once again. I haven't forgot about you, Houston. I love you, Houston. Mm-hmm. Um... So there was this one thing. You niggas are funny tonight. No, it was stupid funny. Um, I don't know if y'all saw, but you. I feel like we talked about passport bros once, right? Over here, right? Passport who? Passport bros, sex tourism. Mm-hmm. Talked about that, right? We, we you know, and you know, we were, I think for the most sure part, of it. we were we were like we were like you know we were pro it. I think right as a as a collective. Uh, is that safe to say? It's safe to say, bro. It's safe to say, right? <laughs> so, ever since that episode, the Password Bros have been, oh my God, they've been fucking down bad. Jesus Christ. And I've had to reevaluate some things and, and ask myself, is that really is that really what the streets need at this time and moment? And I don't know. Can't, can't really call it. Um, the, the Password Bros talking about don't treat the ladies nice because you fucking up the economy down there. I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy. <laughs> what, what, is, what is this? That's nasty work. Like, you buy her a meal, bro. No. The peso, the dollar go way farther than the peso, man. Stop, stop, stop being stupid. That's not how they feel, bro. Nah, you see, gonna, you gonna make and, and that was the thing bro. about the password, bros. I thought they was in it for the love of the game. No. They're not in it for the love of the game. They're in for, son, no, bro. And once I realized they were These not. These niggas not getting pussy in their actual country. Yeah. So they paying for it somewhere else. You really think they're going to treat a woman nice? You 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 right. Like my my premise was was off. No, bro. You know, oh. These ain't niggas that's out here getting women. If they got women, went out there had a fun time with their mans, then yeah, then maybe they be like, oh, yeah, my nigga, you know what I'm saying. But we my thing is bar, that like we had to bar get shorty a drink. Oh, you want something to eat? I'm gonna get something to eat. Something slight. But my thing is that if shit is cheaper where you at, and you try to tell me no, like this, that's the whole care. purpose, no, no, no. what did you like do a little? I'm not asking you to go. No. Niggas ain't gentlemen at home. They not gonna be gentlemen abroad. They there for one reason. They are son, they're there they to smash and dash, baby. Fuck, man. That's it. Smash and dash. I'm gonna take but my thing out. is that why I be tricky. My thing is that like yo, there's there's like there's no there's nothing to the idea of like not even courting, but like yo, we're we're doing we're doing we're doing something before like 
I I I sleep with you. Like there's 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 nothing to that. Like mm-hmm. it's just like yo, I call you at four a.m. and just like yeah, you know, I'm trying to fuck. Mm-hmm. I guess I don't know how that works. I have no idea. But that's what I'm saying. I would I would I would assume if you want to go to a whole other fucking country, a very nice. I what I'm saying, just assuming meet these women just beach out. Side type. I heard they're just out. So if you beat them just out, like, all right, what it be like? Oh yeah, boo boo boo. Yeah, that's why I was like, if Let's, I was like, if I was to do be in that situation, me showing the bar and was to go through yeah, something we, like we, that, then we eat. Just like, boo, oh, yeah, boo, we gonna eat. We, I'm, I'm gonna have to get to know you. Cause who knows, bro? People be dying in these countries, man. I, I ain't know like, man. You ain't about I'm, to set me uh, up. Come on, like I'm just saying, like you can't yeah. get. I'm not asking. What's again? I'm not asking you to the to do. You know, He's make this woman your wife. Catch, I'm just, just saying, like here, a little, a little, like oh, no. drink and a meal over some. Like just slight conversation. Is that like a part of slight the package? Conversation? Like putting that in the package now? Like, I'm going to give you this one. Like, I mean, so. I would feel like you would just pay for your the bill. You would her bill. So, like. And then you, like, you pay then for you it all pay, at once. And then you would pay for yeah. Cook $5, the service. everything. Give me hey, let's eat, drink. So, first of all, you pay for $5. Did you just get it? said 500 bro. Oh, 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 the whole package, bro. I don't know. 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 That's what I'm saying. But it's probably like 200 Probably that's about two two eighty two eighty with dinner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> two eighty with dinner. Two flat <laughs> just for the slap. Two one fifty for real party for the cat. There you go. Two American dollars. Two hundred, baby. You probably need a hundred American dollars. You can do what you want to do. American. You can do what you want to do. Oh, James, we're talking USD. Mm. Europe. They said the US dollar ain't going like this. You know, said, it's, it's not. They said, but we're talking about Mexico. He said, he said we still could. He said I ain't going to Russia and shit. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? We got to be good. We still on this side of the hemisphere with it, nigga. We're talking about dollars still king over here, nigga. I just saw the Arabian and Iran squashing the beef, and inshallah, they in the war in Yemen. But I appreciate the communists for doing that. I know why y'all did it, but baby, this ain't the 80s, so I need y'all to relax. So it's just like... But I had this... I said the thing about the password bros, but I want to bring them up because I saw a New York Times article about women not doing necessarily the same thing, but going to find romance. Now, I don't know if it's just romance, but they said women are going to, um, you know, date. The dating scene is better for American women across the pond or overseas in general. See, gentlemen. You think so? I just think pa- I, I just see I just think that passport girls get a better brand. You said passport girl. Yeah, get a better uh, get a better yeah, get better on. branding than the passport yeah, bros. Yeah, because I feel like the boys got <laughs> bros got paid for the ladies probably don't. They just going out there getting hit. They going to get fucked or they going for real? <laughs> Like, which one? Well, romance, what girl says nigga? she went on like 50 dates of the year? What are you talking about? Romance, nigga. One lady was like... The same s- nigga? No, 50 different dates. 50 different niggas. In a year. She was <laughs> She batting. I give her 30% of them hit. So was this 15? Yeah. In right. a year, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> 15 in a year? Crazy. <laughs> I don't think so. You did it? <laughs> this is, hey, look at life, baby. Oh my God. You cool with that? Are you cool? I, ain't, I don't got no judgment. But what if you was? You cool with that? Wait, am I dating her? Is she still doing this while Did I'm you? dating her? <laughs> All right, so let's say, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, right, you one of the niggas that took her out on a date. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You date 48. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You're nigga number 14 at this point. You okay. know what I'm saying? You cool with that? Say yes. Yeah. All right. Because well. the rule is, you're not the first and you're not the last. Oh, God damn it. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> so it's just like, why am I mad? I'm good off 15 a year. Shit. It's I'm good off 15 a year. That's dang it. Just, you know. Never know. Come on, man. Have some respect, bro. Yeah. Listen, I'm about to say, you know how you going to tell her about her anatomy, <laughs> bro? That's what's wrong with the world now. I'm going to relax. I'm going to relax. I'm going to sound like an Arkansas governor. 
I have been watching Yellowstone. Hey, that's my shit. I finally got somebody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Been watching. I'm caught up on the succession. Oh, my God. Yeah, I ain't seen none of that yet. I've been watching the Gangs of London right now. That shit is vicious. Um, Before we get into being a sports podcast, um... I feel as though I'm going to keep harping on this, but, yo, there were a lot of shootings. Like, <laughs> there, like someone was, like, I normally don't even check the Hazy Thoughts email. Like, people be sending, like, articles all the time. Like, oh, let me let me write a little article to put on the joint. And, like, I be looking. And sometimes I be like, oh, maybe I'll, most of the time it's like, you know, it's not really anything of importance. Yo, there's this one lady who has sent multiple articles about, like, gun control and how, like, we need to protect our kids. And I was just like, yo, like, that shit is, like, like real. Like, yo, they, like, people get shot dead ass every day mm-hmm. in this country. And, like, don't get shot off some, like, oh... I had a dispute with somebody like, no, somebody just came into where you were and just decided to shoot up the building. Like, whether it be a school, a bank, a church, a grocery store, a concert, you fucking name it. Random street. You fucking name it, like, at any given point, at any given time, you're more likely to, to fucking, like, get attacked by a gun, a gun violence than, like, to meet a celebrity or some shit. <clears throat> Like, yeah, for sure. like, also, just like, how often when you out do you think of it? All I, the time, to- bro. I think about it every fucking anytime I'm in like a, you know what's so funny? Anytime I get on Metro, the first thing I think about is like, damn. I wonder, I, I wonder who, I wonder who has a gun on this joint, and I wonder who would just yeah, like shoot train. this joint up. I, I feel like I said this on this on this joint before. Like when yeah. I used to be on the subway in New York, I used to think like, oh, I wonder like at any time like who. Like who gonna blow this right up? Because like on a train and on a bus. Like who? Like who? Like there's no like. Is there any metal detectors that stop at anybody from doing anything at any time? Like where that's that's how I know humanity isn't as like as bad as people would like to admit. Because like it be places like dead ass the metro. Like someone shot somebody on the metro like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Dead ass. So like for the most part. We live in a world where, like, we just have the good so faith that, like, on a metro bus. that we, we just have the faith in others that, like, people know better than to, like, do some shit, like, shoot somebody on the metro. Like, you know that, like, outside of the metro, yeah, somebody probably gets shot all the time. Like, you, you, you're probably not thinking anything of it, especially depending on what metro station you at. But, like, on the metro, like, I thought about that the other day. Like, for as much as people like to talk about Bending Road and... All, like, I ain't never felt like someone was going to do anything to me on actually on the metro at that stop. Mm-mm. I see when I got off at Benning Road, I never felt that way. Yeah, I, I've I've seen, I've been like I've seen like loads of people come on at Benning Road at any time, mm-hmm. really late in the morning, really late at night, really early in the morning, midday, and never felt like oh something's gonna happen because I'm like I'm on the metro like. There's something, at least in my mind, that's like, we're on the metro, right? It's like Switzerland. <laughs> like, yeah, at least yeah. in my mind, like, you niggas know better. I'm off some, like, why would you? Right. So, like, what are we gaming here? So, like, I think that's the humanity. That's why I'm like, yo, people ain't that evil as much as we want to be like, oh, yeah, everyone's so, like, people have at least that common sense to be like, I ain't going to do that. Now, like, would them niggas get me when I got off the if if they thought I was a sweet lip? Yeah. I, I don't see I don't see that being any I don't see that uh not being part of the course. But I just don't think that's what like people are into. So um yeah, when I'm on like when I'm in a large group of places with people, I always think that like, yo, who in here has a gun? Like uh, oh, first first question, like, oh, who here has a gun? And then anytime I'm like in a place where people are like any sort of animosity or like let it be like something as simple as like a, a meeting, like yo, when people when friction starts, I'm like yo, who, who here is upset enough to be like, all right, I'm gonna shoot somebody? 
Cause that's all, that's all they be taking out. Like people just be upset and they be shooting people. It don't even be off no like someone attack me. It will be like, oh, someone said something I didn't like. So those would be the two times I really be thinking like, when the fuck, large spaces, concerts, those type of things, like a festival. I'm always like, oh my god. Somebody got in. With someone that. got in. I'm like, bro, I've been in places with people and people have gotten guns, and I'm like. I definitely judge places by the pat down. Bro, there's certain places you get pat down, you like, oh man. Jesus Christ, like, who knows what who knows what someone has in here? Then they have to get at them all. And you know, people don't and you know, like, you're not even worried about people just shooting people now, like move set. You're just stabbing people out here. People think this shit is London town or something. Mm-hmm. Like you can't even you can't even be like, oh, yeah, niggas. Uh, oh, niggas I was on X two one day, nigga said something, young nigga pulled out that blade. It was so quick too. I was like, oh, yeah, your ass is about to go down. It's just wicked, so yeah, it just made me, you know, I don't know why, but like for some reason, I should just been like, you know, like. Bro, shooting at you, bro. I literally sent them. That's what's like, dog. Saying. This is you, wild. Bro. You be sending them to his early in the morning. CNN notification, bro. Like, bro, niggas just woke up, bro. Nigga be sending them to us at like Easter 8, Monday, man. 8, 8 Why are niggas shooting, bro? Like, Send them to us at like eight a.m. I be like, damn, bro. Just be like, everywhere, like every, literally everywhere. Bro, you can't even be like, oh, this happens in this part of the country. No, bro. New York, Kentucky, Florida, California, DC. Arkansas every day, bro. Hmm. bro. The Northwest, every Portland, day. or you, you name the place. Every day. People be shooting people. So, like, that shit is just, like, a, a very wicked way of living, and niggas got to do better. Like, at some point, people can't just be like, this multiple, is how we multiple live. Multiple mass shootings a day in different parts of the country. Just can't be that way. Like, I don't care who has to do what. Like, I know it's not going to ever change, because once they let them kids at Sandy Hook die, it was like, oh, once you can just kill kids Same with game. no remorse, it's just like, you can do anything. Once the, once the elderly and the young are not protected in any society. Right. Everybody's free game after that. I'm fucking with the school system trying to put the fucking um, metal detectors in schools, bro. As a parent, of I course, believe in it. Of course everyone... They ain't trying to do it, though. Of course everyone believes in it, but it's just like, what's going to stop you when the person starts shooting right outside the school? Hopefully they inside. See, that's the whole point. Like, hey, then you got to have... Like, we saw what happened on Ovalde... They had endless police. The police ain't if you what? If Did you say where? U- Uvalde? Texas. Oh. That's where it happened, right? Uvalde? Yeah. 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 Like did, did the police shoot back? Did the police like they did they wait like thirty minutes while the <laughs> while the person was running they rampage? They let that nigga run out of ram they let that nigga run out of ammo before they did anything. You know what I'm saying? That's so like, like that's why I keep saying about all these guns. Like we keep talking about like, oh, people get more guns <laughs> and then people get guns and then and niggas be having ammunition. And then the like, only time you hear about some shit is home. when somebody go do some super hero- heroic shit. When some random civilian stop somebody who's about to kill seven people and instead of killing eight he only gets six because this it's like yo what the fuck is this like somebody gotta be John Wick out here for people to feel safe like god damn well, what, what the fuck is going on I don't fuck with guns bro. I don't either but it's just like shit get with it or get lost type shit oh, at this point fuck it I'm gone get with it or get lost that's 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 really the, ain't going nowhere yeah that's, that's really what it is like what I'm really crazy the arms dealer in the world mm-hmm all right. What are you drinking? Oh, Lily of the Now. It is the hottest functional beverage on the market. Blood Orange is the main um, product uh, beverage flavor at the moment. Check it out. Get one of these cans, scan the barcode, and check it out. Lily of the Now coming to you all um, going live May 1st, but you can't get orders now. We bike. Holla at one of these guys. They'll see me. I'll have a bunch for you. They're in these streets. Holla at us. Love a rebrand. <sighs> Refreshing. Um, we're on a sports podcast as well. We have been away for some time. Shout out to Mookus. He called UConn winning the Final Four. Long time ago. Make some fucking noise for Mook. Guard playing big man, baby. Charles said it a long time ago. He called it. I hedged my man. bets, but I did win a pool because I picked UConn to win it all. So shout out to Andy up. <laughs> hey, that's all right. There you go. 
Yeah. Got some bread off of that. So shout out my boys at UConn. Um, shout out to Angel Reese. We got shout out to LSU. Shout, shout out, out to them. LSU, man. Shout out to them girls. They're the champs. Um, did it big. Uh, most outstanding player of the tournament was Angel Reese. So shout out to the well girl. Deserved. Shout out to the girl from B More. Um, shout out to Caitlin Clark. She played. UConn got a uh, young from Baltimore too. Her cousin actually plays for UConn. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah. Jordan Hawkins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's a, yeah. I'm talking about the man. You know, he was, and he's going to the league as well. He uh, yes. just uh, he just committed. Co- uh, what you gonna call it? Draft uh, declared yeah. for the draft. So that. shout out to to that young brother. About to Stop. get it in. About to get paid. <laughs> get to the bag, my brother. Man, um, make your journey easy on your chance, shout man. out to Angel currently getting to the bag. They said she made over three hundred thousand dollars in NIL money this Facts. year. So big shout like out the to most Angel. Most NIL deals in anybody, man male or, or woman. Female. So you know, shout out to shout out to you, Angel. Shout, shout out to the Be More Princess. Facts. She out here getting to the sh money. Out of out of LSU, we love to see you, Bob. Shout out to Kayla Clark too, though. You know, that's Moot Girl, so that's shout out girl. to her. Man, shout out to my girl, but Shout out to Leah Boston. Just got drafted number one today Overall. in the WNBA draft. Shout out to Zaya Cook as well. She going to the Sparks. Yeah, we like that because they need guard play. They've been missing that for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And she was a baddie. And I didn't realize she was a baddie. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Like, I see you. She was a baddie for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but... uh. For sure. Mm. Come on, South Carolina too. Goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> Which God one? Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> like, Forgot about you. Seen on the court locking niggas up. Put it put it together well tonight, man. Okay, look at you. <laughs> she always had the lashes and nails on point during the game, though. Know? That's crazy to have the lashes and nails on point during the game. Son, but... that was looking at Angel Reese when she was playing the national championship. I was like, son, her nails are done. <laughs> I was like, and last time, like, she's vicious. DJ Shorter DJ nail, DJ but DJ they get they get it. DJ done. they taught them. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's your girl for sure. I can't wait to the game. <laughs> you going? Nigga, what? The only reason I go last year is on Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Like, no. I want to go. Nigga, May twenty third. Say less. Tuesday, seven o'clock. Oh. I'll be there. Okay. Jersey on. Jersey on. <laughs> Okay. Come through. I might. I might have to come see you. I might mm-hmm. have to come see you. We Listen, we're big, from LSU we're big uh, today as well. We're big WNBA fans around, the, around this way. Oh, yeah. Morris. Mm-hmm. Alexis. Yeah. She, she going to make the squad? Because, you know, it's hard to make a WNBA yeah. team, especially like as, said, a, one of, as one, a rookie. One of our guards is, you know, so we need him on that. Point guard jump, so let's see that. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm really looking forward to the WNBA. I'm, I'm really looking. I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to uh, college basketball in general with Adrian mm-hmm. Page coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's I'll a few. It. You know, there's a Caitlin. It will be back as well mm-hmm. next year. So it's good. Who? Women's see. college basketball. Oh my mm-hmm. girl uh, from Louisville. Facts. Haley Van. Haley Van Lee. She um yeah she, she in the portal ain't she? She in the portal. She says she's a no contact. Mm. So we are gonna see where she gonna end up. So if she ends up That's somewhere. The one that came o'clock originally hit the. Mm. Mm. Ooh yeah, I fuck with her. I yeah, fuck with, I fuck with how she really handled herself. She handled herself very well these last couple weeks. Ten o'clock. Yeah, they tried to yeah. throw her a lot of. Uh, she was like, I'm not gonna take that bait. Mm. She's like, that's bait. But, like, but her and Angel been playing against each other since high school, though. Like, yeah. They've been known each other. And she, they've been talking cash shit to yeah. each other. So. Since when like, Angel was at Merlin, they was yes, talking sir. shit to each other. So was, and they were Big Ten rivals, too. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, this shit ain't This was just new. bad blood. Yeah, it was just the fact that, like, this is the first time y'all ever been paying attention to like, women's basketball. So It's funny, though, because... I feel as though people always pay attention to women's college basketball. Yeah. Women's don't pay people don't pay attention to the WNBA. Yeah, no, because I thought that, like, cause they made it seem like Kayla Clark came out of nowhere, and I'm like, bro, she been hooping for two years like this. Like she been doing this. Cause I've been championing her base for like two years now. No, mm-hmm. she she's like so that. It was just like it was Kayla Clark Saturdays for me. Like, no, she's 
Jesus is definitely it. Game, so Jesus is definitely like, it for sure. And they, like, they, that's all I feel you. Like certain colleges, like the Yukons, the South South Carolina, Tennessee, Tennessee, you know, Stanford, what I'm saying? Stanford, Texas is when they when they got squads. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, the big names. Whatever team sure. Monkey is coaching. Yeah, for sure. Baylor. You know what I'm saying? And now um, LSU. Mm-hmm. So it's just like. Yeah, I feel you, but like, no, nah, they don't be paying attention to the school. school Notre Dame like, is pretty Dame. good too. Yeah, Notre Dame. Shout out to uh, Ivy. Yeah, it's shout out to all the well, a lot of the schools we just named got black hair, black women head coaches too. Yeah, shout out to the, uh, shout out Dawn Staley mm-hmm. doing yeah, a bit. Notre Dame got black women. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ivy. Mm-hmm. I don't know if her name is Ivy, but that's his mom. Uh, Jada Ivy. His mom was the coach at Notre Dame. Uh. Yeah, man. Good vibes out here, you know. Um, so, NBA playoffs will start officially in a week. Play-in games start tomorrow. You know, that time of the where we make some picks. And you get on record and you decide who you got doing what. And so, let's get to it. Who you got in the play-in? Who you got winning the play-in? We got Heat, Hawks. Bulls, yeah, that's what I'm doing Bulls, right Raptors, Heat, Hawks is the seven eight. Bulls, Raptors is the eight is the nine right, ten. So tomorrow we got Heat, Hawks, yes, and Timberwolves, Lakers. Yes, sir. Who you got winning the seven eight? Those both seven eights. Yes. Mm-hmm. I got first of all, I got the Hawks beating the Heat. Okay, so you I got the too, Hawks playing the Celtics. I, I too okay. got the Hawks beating. Them. Okay. Who you got? Uh, Timberwolves and the Lakers. Lakers, yep. I got Timberwolves. <laughs> you got the Timberwolves? For the life of me, I'd love to go Timberwolves. <laughs> Who do you have, man? No, nah, I got you Lakers. Lakers. I go Lakers. So you have Lakers. I have Heat and Lakers. All right, let's go 9-10. We have Raptors, Bulls, and... Interesting. And Thunder slamming. Pelicans. And Thunder Pelicans. Who you yes, got? SGA. What's the other one? Raptors, Bulls. Oh, Raptors. So you got Raptors, got, and you got uh, I randomly Thunder. Who do you have? I randomly got Bulls with the versus the Raptors. So you have Bulls, and, and then um, I got Pelicans pulling that Pelicans. out. Pelicans. So for you, you have since you have your eight logo, so that eliminates the you have Bulls and Pelicans. You have Thunder and Raptors. You that eliminates the Bulls. And the Pelicans for you, that eliminates the Raptors and the Thunder. Thunder for you. Um, that means the rap uh the Thunder would play the Timberwolves. No, no, no. That means the Pelicans would play the Timberwolves in your scenario. And that means the Thunder would play the Timberwolves in your scenario. That means the Heat would play the Raptors in your scenario. And the uh, Hawks will play the Celtics. The Hawks will play, no, the, no, no. The rap. The Heat will play the uh, Raptors. No, the Bulls will play the Heat. Okay. The Bulls will play the Heat of your scenario. I personally have the Pelicans and the Raptors. Okay. So uh, that would give me Raptors versus Hawks, and I'm gonna take the Raptors. The Hawks will not make the playoffs in my scenario. And then I have Pelicans versus I have Pelicans versus Timberwolves. And I have the Timberwolves making it and the Pelicans do not make the playoffs. Yeah, I don't think the Pelicans make it. So I have the Timberwolves and Lakers making it. And then I have the Raptors and Heat making it. Um, I think Jimmy Butler will go crazy, and the and we all like and this is what he's supposed to do, right? And um, randomly, mm-hmm. the last couple of times the Hawks have played the Heat, they've been kind of bad. Yeah, they like the last time they played them in the playoff playoffs last year, like they just spanked them. Now the series they lost. Mm-hmm. Now John St. Murray is a big difference, mm-hmm. and I wonder if he hopes. 
Uh, and I wonder if he helps. This is a one game, you know, this is basically a mm-hmm. one game off. So, um, I, listen, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm the Hawks. I wouldn't be surprised if the Hawks win, but I'm just going we off just of the. To, I'm going off the pass with this to, one. We need the ball out of Trey Young's hands for a little bit, and then that's what DeJounte going to do. And he rebounds and passes well. And from what Jalen Johnson has been doing, he can be a spark. You know what I mean? I'm super pro. I've been, I've been watching some Hawks games right now. I'm pro DeJounte, but. I'm also pro Jalen Johnson because I feel like he's going to give us that Cam Reddish push that Cam Reddish gave us that one year in the f- playoffs that we had him. And Jalen Johnson going to give us that push that Cam Reddish, <laughs> Cam Reddish gave us that one year when we was in the O's. I feel like not as like, much because it's like Cam was that like a starter and Jalen Johnson like, coming off the bench for uh, the guy that needs to get the fuck off my squad and shall not be named. But his initials are JC. So yeah, but um, Ooh, no, that. yeah, okay, it's cute. But <laughs> yeah, so we get him gone or whatever. Just give Jalen Johnson more minutes. They can split minutes, honestly, because that's what it's looking like he's about to go to. Because he was balling the other night when he got things we talking about. We had like twenty five, eight and six. Yeah, yeah Jalen Johnson had sixteen, six and three. Get a double pump reverse. Yeah. A bunch of cute shit. I was like, what the fuck? What? A bunch of cute shit. Very. Yeah, so. Get him out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I, I like the Hawks. I know they've been playing more consistent hoop as of late. So, very perennial 500 squad. Win one, lose one. So, inshallah, we win one because I think we just lost one. So, I think we're on pace. <laughs> <laughs> So he got in the East, coming out the East. I want to say Celtics again. With the Bucks, man. Fucking Bucks. You got. Oh, me? Giannis and six. Whoever. <laughs> I got Giannis, bro. I think I'm riding with Giannis this year. Out the East. Okay. I'm, I'm riding with more Drew Holiday than Giannis, but still. Giannis and six. Be better than everybody. Go Sixers. I was about to say, who's going to pick the Sixers? I'm riding with the Sixers. Remember, remember halfway through the season, I told you Sixers, Nets? Mm-hmm. Well, Kyrie and KD decided they didn't want to play in Brooklyn anymore, <laughs> so shout out to them. So now um, Sixers, who? So now I'm going Sixers, Bucks, mm-hmm. and I'm hoping that Embiid and Harden find a way because. Mm-hmm. Have they ever? Um. Harden Harden? specifically, <laughs> when it comes to winning, I'm saying B, B. Uh, both of them. Mm-hmm. Harden has on. played Doc Rivers too. <clears throat> Doc Rivers as well. There's so many like red flags <laughs> on their team. It's just like, come on, bro. Like, come I feel as though three stars. Come on, hit the come showers. On. I got one. I feel as though like no <laughs> wait, bro. No <laughs> wait. He went to the finals in 2010. Okay, okay. it's 2023. He went to a conference you see the camera on jump? He was like, you never seen a coach get traded before. <laughs> Watch that episode today. There's actually. a few coaches have to get traded. Uh, like, Doc, bro. I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good up, Doc, bro. Please shut me up, though, Philly. I would love to. Yeah, please. I mean, I just feel as though, don't like. Let the Nets win one game. This, this is literally. Don't let the Nets win one game. Why? Yeah. Don't let them win one game. If they go four, if they win four and one. No. Sweep these niggas. I'm, see that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like though basketball, pe- basketball people works. have a weird way of like thinking about basketball. Like, a basketball person. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I would. Yeah, I would, I would consider. Yeah, probably more than like sweep them niggas, bro. man. Knowledgeable about the sport for um, sure. Sweep them, bro. I would say like and be prove yourself. The whole I'm the MVP. I can right? see Nets getting sweep on. these niggas right now. Like the net, like they're get on to the, the Nets are a playoff team. Yeah, like, are they? they? Yes. Yes. This, is, this, is, the, this is the foul team. This bro. is the foundation of the guys that aren't there no more. Like, come on, man. Fuck. But they've been playing better as to the team. They got some hoops. They got some ballers over there. Yeah. Like, like, these like, like all right, Nets, that's win two games then. Like, is if you really like, 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 for a lot of that? Why not? Like, <laughs> I, I don't think, like, yo, like, we're playing basketball and they're all perfect. Like, people are like, yo, the Clippers are stupid for winning because now they have to play the Suns. I'm like, I think this, why can't they beat? The why can't they beat the Suns? Yeah, that's, that's my point. Yeah, my, yeah, that's yeah. my whole point. My point is that like this I whole NBA season, series, I think what, maybe the Bucks won. No, the Bucks didn't win sixty games, did they? I think anybody won sixty games. 
There was no t- like there was no team that was just 60? no. Oh. They were like fifty five. There was no Focus team. Was that, the there was no team. Bullshit. No team was just so much better than every other team. So, so weird, yeah. yeah. So why in the playoffs would it be Sweet. any different? <laughs> where like, Sweet. so if the because I think if the Bucks play the Hawks or the Raptors in my scenario, yeah, they're sweeping us. If they have to sweep, right? If those guys get one game off of them, you're gonna be like, no, I don't think they have to sweep. You see what but I'm I, saying? How, I think that's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Basketball niggas so weird. Like, how does that work? Oh, do you think the Nets are better than the Hawks? I don't know, bro. You see what I'm saying? Like, all you gotta weird do is team. have a nigga on your team that people know, and people will be like. You I like Trey Young is the difference between yeah. you saying that about the Hogs versus the Nets because the Nets have is already. He? I like Mikael probably more than I like Trey. Bro. Then how does one of them have? How is one it's of them? It's about the that. It's about MB and Harden. Your pick to go to the NBA Finals uh-huh. should be exponentially better than the Brooklyn Nets. So this must go just sweep them. Somebody gotta get swept. Okay, why well, not me? Them. This why I'm not saying. them? I'm just saying why not. So if nobody. If you had to pick it, 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 if you had to pick a series for one sweep, one sweep, sweep out of eight series. I don't think that's what I'm saying. This is the year. But if you had to pick, it, I don't think anybody. It'll be the Bucks. Year. It'll be whoever the Bucks yeah. play. Yeah. There we go. The Bucks and the, yeah. And why do they got to sweep? Because, because they're the, the best team. They have the best record. And apparently, I have the best player in the NBA right here. So go ahead and sweep these niggas. I think this is more about. Buddy making his statement. You know, he's been clamoring for this MVP and shit, bro. Sweet these niggas, man. It's not even about Philly. It's about MVP. So you got Bucks. Who you got? Coming out the East. (laughs) Oh, I said fuck that. So who you got coming out the East? I got Sixers. You got Bucks. Bucks. Bucks and Sixers. We all got the top three teams. Let's see how this thing works out. All right, let's move on to the West. Who you got in the West? I don't know. Me too. I wanted to pick the uh, Grizzlies, but then I saw that the Warriors match up. Man like that. I, I saw the Warriors <laughs> match up with them if they get past the uh, Kings, which I think will happen. Facts. So now I'm hesitant to pick the Grizzlies because in the two six matchup, which I think will happen, <laughs> that's gonna be lovely, bro. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they have enough for the Warriors. Uh, if they didn't play anybody but the Warriors, I would have took the Grizzlies and the Warriors in the conference finals, and I would have said, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> but because I cannot attest to that being what will take place, I'm going to go with the easy pick and pick the Warriors. Because yeah, I think it makes the most sense. It's definitely my pick, but it's just like... That's I think it like, makes the most sense it. to pick... And the way they're talking crazy about them right the now. The guy who is still the craziest assassin at 35 years old. And if Wiggins is back like they say he should be, um, I think he got fresh legs. It's like, yo, definitely having fresh, fresh legs, legs, I think especially for a guy... He's not like a, a three-year player. like He's a, like a 10-year vet. Mm-hmm. And he was just on this run last year. So he knows what it's like to play in this. He needs to do. Yeah, play in this environment and this experience. So um I think it's I think it's a Warriors for me. <laughs> I think Warriors Sixers. Let's make it happen, guys. Let's make it happen. Who you got coming out the West? I don't know, bro. Come on, make a ch- ch- oh, say with your chucks, man. I can't lie, all season I said the Warriors, you know. I don't think they pick who you pick, man. Yeah, the Warriors, bro. I, I, I don't want to do it. I don't think it. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna happen. This year. Pick it, man. Pick I, I have no pick out of the West, bro. I really don't. Boo. I really don't. Come on, man. Stop being scary. Stop being scary. Yes, you are. I'm looking at the field. And you made me scary, bro. I think it could be. Sadly, the fucking war. <laughs> Pick the team, that, bro. Yeah, mostly the Suns making out of the first round. Clipper Suns playing the first round. I don't think they're making out of the first. So you play Warriors. So you're picking the winner of the Clippers and Suns to face the Warriors in the Western Conference Final. See, I gave you my Western Conference Final. I told you. I got nothing for the West, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Who you got coming out the West? Uh, 
Right. You said the Warriors. Yeah, like, two seconds. Okay. Yeah, I said Warriors. Bro, I just don't see them. Where's the conference final? Is it? If there's any way for the like the, I think it'll probably be like the Warriors, Suns, Warriors, Lakers, maybe. Yeah, Warriors, Suns, Warriors, Lakers is what I was thinking. Yeah. Because if the Grizzlies, if the Grizzlies, no, no, it can't be Warriors, Lakers, because that yeah, would be that would be the second round. Warriors, Lakers. Uh, in okay, like, so yeah. So yeah, like I think it's to Warriors, me. Suns, Warriors, it's Warriors, Suns. The fucking Nuggets are a joke, bro. It's Warriors, Suns. Nobody gives a fuck about number one seed Nuggets. Yeah, and it's crazy how the two time the two time MVP like you talk about people da da like. Would it be crazy how a nigga who just won two MVPs and they saying might win this one? Is a nigga who is a nigga who nobody's even expecting. Oh well, he needs more. He needs help. Oh jeez. I thought that Mavericks not making it to the playoffs too. I'm very upset about that. Um, I mean, they kind of tanked. They they could have been in the the playing if they wanted to. They just mm-hmm. didn't want to. So. They're in the AFC. Like I don't know. They why. had to win. I think they had to win like seven of their last nine or something. Like, they had to win seven of their last thirteen. They would have won one of like the last. They could have literally won like the last game with Luca, and they would have at least had a chance to be in the play. And they just yeah. sat that nigga. So shout out to them for being dumb. Um, hope Luca and Kyrie leave because you can't do dumb shit like that. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, I hate when teams do dumb shit. <laughs> why would you do that? Luka and Kyrie. <laughs> why would you do that? Like, why would you try? To, my thing about teams is like, all these motherfuckers keep complaining about how people don't want to play, and the, and then you try to lose on purpose. Like, I don't get it. Like, why do people they keep? Try. They did. Well, my point is that like Fuck you literally did. sat Luca for that, for a whole half, for a whole three quarters. You weren't supposed to play. Well, that's even my point. That's even that's more. That's what's nuts. So why play him and it was then? A Slovenian night. That nigga was not gonna be out of there. So why play him then? Do all that and then now he don't even get it. Like that don't even make sense to me. Yeah, Philly, top ten pick. It's just like, once also, again, if you were getting like, if you had a better chance to get like a top two pick, maybe. How many so times? I want 10. Yeah, like how many times is the tenth overall pick in the NBA draft? Yeah, Gonna be the difference maker. Jesus. And like, unless it, what they gonna draft Giannis? I know he who. They gonna draft Giannis? Like, <laughs> like, do if they get Giannis, then maybe. But like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do the Mavs have a track record of drafting niggas late in the lottery and hitting? No. So what are we doing? Like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what pick Dirk was. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like, show me. Last he was like top 10, though. So, show me show me the, the track record to even do this. Like, there's no even track record here. To get the number 10 pick is wild. Take for just 10. You know what I'm saying? Bro, crazy. come on. Be fucking for 10? real. 10? Come on, son. Be fucking for real. That's, My nigga. that's silly. Are we serious? And not even 10 for sure. Not the chance. Sure. Yeah, like. To have, on, the, the, to have that chance like at you that. You cheesing and shit. Come like, on, man. Fucking losers. Like, I have nothing for that. I was so pro mad. Like, yeah, I don't want to hear about, I don't want to hear about players knowing anything when, like, teams are purposely trying to <laughs> make these, these type of dumb plays so that they can, like, get some weird shit off. So, I have nothing for none of them. God bless the losers. Um, NFL draft is soon. Number one, Bryce Young. You think he's going number one? Nah. I think Bryce Young is going to be good, man. I don't think he's going number one. I think he is, man. I think I think if you're real, you gotta you got to take him. Like, he's the best quarterback. Like, C.J. Stroud might be, uh, you know. Derek was a ninth pick. CJ Stroud might have a bigger body, you know, might have the better body and all that other stuff. But I think just the quarterback, like, yo, Bryce Young is. What, what pick was Jason K for the Mavs? Even though I know we on football, but. I don't know. He was a top pick, though. Okay. But yeah, uh, he probably, I can see it. I still think he's the best quarterback, too, though. I think Stroud would be good. Like, I don't think Stroud is going to be a bust by any yeah. means, but I just think that, like, Bryce Young got some like that boy got arm on it. He just got some quarterback playing him that I think when we look back, he's gonna be like, "Yo, 
he was really doing that quarterback yeah. shit, like making plays, slinging shit around. Touch. Like, yeah, like 400-yard games, mm-hmm. four touchdowns. It's really going to be like, oh, okay. I ain't even want Yeah, I don't want him to run much because I'm scared that he's going to get no, his shit. I'm not saying it's like part of his game. game no, nah, I'm here, but I'm like just. He's going to pull that joint down there. He's one of the guys that, like, I'm somewhere. just scared that, like, anytime it does happen. Like, Lamar, I'm not scared with Lamar. I'm scared with other people. <laughs> Too. I'm not scared with Tua because Tua shit is just like Tua seems to not have his body right. He seems to like get like freak accidents. Like he whiplashes his health. Like buddy, like fall fall head first. Like, yeah, car accident injury. Yeah, like, field. yeah, real, real. Like I don't know. I don't know how my. I don't know how to use my body type shit. <laughs> Speaking of Lamar. He got some new weapons. LSU, baby, NFL LSU. Odell got 15 million. Might go up to 18. Depending on incentives. Listen, Lamar's playing one year. He's playing on the tag for He's that one year. And they're either going to have to tag him again, which would be like crazy because... At that point, he'd make like $50 million a year, mm-hmm. or he's gonna go walk. So, I think I'm looking for the crazy Lamar year where him and Odell just going bonkers. Odell, Lamar, Mark Andrews, and J.K. Dobbins. What if you can stay healthy? I think, it, I think that's a crazy. Like, I'm not even adding Bateman because I don't know what he will or will not do. I think he's going to be good next year. But if he... he if, stay healthy. If he has any, you know, That's if he has right any right. resemblance of, like, being a number two... When he's healthy, he's vicious, though. That's being a, a number two, I think, yeah, I think Odell... You think Dell is a one? Yeah. In 2023? Yes. Uh, you know why? So. Last time I seen him, he was dogging. You know what? You know was what? he a one? You know what? I think he's a one. No, he was a he one was, B. He was that day. <laughs> he wasn't. He, he was for that, that team, my nigga. Not for the Browns. He was but like what? two, two A. No, nah, he was B. like he was a high two and a one B. Because remember when he played those few games with the Rams, like those five games, so he started some touchdowns again. He was good. And remember the first half of that Super Bowl, man. He was the he was just as good as Coop, if not better. Same. Not saying he was, but he was two. Nah, Cooper Cup even said he was like, well, Dale would have finished the game. Like, you know what I'm I saying? Wouldn't like, be, I wouldn't have got this trophy. This is fact, but he was two. So I get what you're saying. Going say. to the game, I see, yeah. but the game plan. Listen, for the, I still love game Odell. Plan for the Super Bowl looked like Odell was one. I think they can't. I think the Ravens can't trot out there and be like, okay, Odell is one. And everything. That, I mean, All the problems gonna be solved. See how it looks. Yeah, so I like Mark Andrews. I like Jake. Ravens like are going to be a run first team. They that's been their identity since. But if you say I don't think Odell can be okay. This is our number one receiver in okay. 2023. Okay, I'm but not, I like I like the I like the addition of but I'm not mad. I, I, I like. like we'll see. I don't know who's going to be the one. So what? I, so when you look around, number ones, just like quickly, just just like who are some of the number ones that you are like Odell? I'm not talking about the Justin Jeffersons, the Jamar Chases. Who are some other guys that you are just the defending? McCorns. So, like, for example, like Terry McCorn, you're just definitively, like, he's so much better number one for the Ravens than Odell at this point. Because mm. if you believe it, I'm not mad. Terry's like, good. I, I know. I believe in Terry for sure. Because um, when I go around... I would probably still... No bias involved. I would definitely probably take Terry. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at that. Them. So that's what I'm saying. I just want to know. Feel like there's a lot of that's guys, what I'm saying. a lot of random guys. That's what I'm just asking. Like what are the number be ones? Jalen Waddle over. That's my. Fucking, that's my yeah, point. Odell that's at this point. Maybe give me Garrett Wilson over fucking. That's what I was. You know, that, I was, that was good there's a lot of guys. Was that's Garrett that, Wilson the guy? Yeah, at this stage like, in careers, the, we're talking yeah. ACLs. We're talking many years at this point. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like I love him. I'm not like, saying you don't, bro. Listen, this is not a bad set of It's just asking how many number ones do you think he's better than? And if you say that, I'm not mad. But yeah. you made the point. That's what I'm saying. But that, yeah, my thing, my thing is that we. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> that's my kid. That's my thing. That's my point. But that's my point. Yeah. Isn't it 15 to 20? Yeah. And I think that's well, a di- that's a big difference than like top half of the league. I would argue like 
Devontae, yes. Yeah. Tyreek, yes. yes. Justin Jefferson, Jamar, yes. yes. Jalen Waddle. Uh, he's not one, but he's the two. But, like, if you want to call him one, like, yes. Mm-hmm. Just these guys. Um, oh, yes, yeah, He whoever, was the one. But... Whoever, whoever is in Detroit. Yes. Uh-huh. But right now, I look at, uh-huh. like, the Packers receivers. No. No. I look at... Uh, no. uh, I look at the Panthers receivers. I might take DJ Moore and all that. Bro. DJ Moore plays for the Bears now. Oh shit! Yeah. Then I guess my Panthers got a couple niggas. Thielen. Yeah, I'm good on Thielen. You know what I'm saying? Thielen. Like, Thielen. um, for sure. The Steelers receivers. I'll take. Yeah, like I, I yeah, I'd you know, like I don't like Deontay, so I, I, it, it, to me it'll just be a toss up. Facts. Um, depending on matchup at that point. Give me all that. Little. The Giants receiver. Sterling not even on the squad no more, yeah. I think. Like, I, but, and I think it's like the Saints are in the same bag. Like, Michael Thomas, when was the last time you saw Michael Thomas play? So would you take Michael Thomas or Odell Beckham right now? I said get him out of here. So you take Odell <laughs> over Michael the... Thomas. So you take Odell over the Saints, so that's like six teams we're at. Right. I said 15, 20 him. You know but that's what I'm saying. 15, 20 is like average. I think like Odell's like probably like 12. probably like yeah, like probably like between twelve and eighteen. Like so we're in the same kind of low yeah. range. But I think he's he's a little bit more towards the like later end of the, the ten, just off the strength of how many one wide receivers are there? Were you really like when you really look around, and they about to force him to be the one, you know he's gonna he's gonna get like options, and it's not you know the offense will be around him. So yeah. I don't think like and the numbers him sweep around and run around. I don't, I don't think, think the numbers will. Those. I don't think the numbers will lack in that way he's either. Be lining up at wide out. Like AJ Brown and them got him. Yeah, but like even when I look at a team like the Chiefs, they don't got shit. Patriots. They got. Chiefs, Patriots. Some of Super Bowl champions right now. Texans. God awful. Cowboys. I'll take CD over him. Maybe. Yeah. But you know, like, it gets, it gets, it gets, it gets real, it's like, it's w- once I start getting I to, like, it. seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, pull up for this. I'm... We're still at your 12 to 18. I'm still at my 15 for buddy. Okay. Yeah. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, like, bro, come on. But the last time I seen Odell. He was I, going crazy. I would argue, like, <laughs> there's more upside to that than, like, like I said, the last sure. time I seen Michael last Thomas. Season. Last time I seen Odell, he was balling. He was catching touchdowns. He was on, like, a streak of touchdowns per yeah, The world was concerned about the triple crown year at that time in the world. So That's true. Let's. Let's stop this nigga. This white guy is going crazy. You're right. That and was that definitely part of something. Not at least, buddy. But he was going crazy. I'm, I'm not negating that at all. Mm-hmm. But he can't. He can't shoot. He doesn't make the matchups. Ten was going crazy. So it was just like, oh, he can, he can fry. Yeah, he didn't make the matchups. I respect that. All right. That, that's not a. I think I don't think that's a bad way to look at it at all. But I would just like I said, Odell. When I look at it right now, just like I don't know if there's like. 15, I think like 15 might be my max for me where I'm like, ooh, I'm I'm getting real picky with hairs now. Yeah. You want a list? I'm literally. I'll take a list. Here's a list. I got this. 125. Tyreek, Amon Ra, Justin, Devontae, Steph, Stefan, mm-hmm. AJ, Cooper, CD, Keenan, Jamar, Drake, London. Oh, Garrett no. Wilson, Jalen Waddle, Chris Olave. That's what we get. Right Mark there. Cooper, Devontae Smith, Terry McLaurin, Mike Williams, Brandon IU, All Ian there. Higgins, Jerry Jones, All there. Tyler Lockett, DJ Metcalf, Christian Watson, and Isaiah. I'm Hines. taking T. Higgins. So, I, there, so I, I throw a few. Sounds I, about right. You know what I'm saying? 12 to 18. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I throw a few people ahead. I throw a few people below. But mm-hmm. I throw him in between. Like, once you started getting into a lava and shit, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 where, that's where my guy fits. <laughs> like, no disrespect to Olave, but after one year as a rookie, yeah. how is that enough to do Odell when Odell, like... He was, a, was the rookie of rookies. He had, like, a four-year stretch. Then he had some down years in Cleveland and then came back 
the last time I said he seen him play was really good. I think Drake, I think Drake London at eleven is a little bit. You know what I'm That's saying? Like Drake is. London. So like, if we start making lists like that, if you start making lists like you that, can't, you can't tell me, you can't tell me that. Oh God, twelve is crazy now, is it? No. Not at all, Charles. Smith literally was in the Super Bowl and he is 16. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> so it took you so long. Like, you you said T. Higgins' name, and I'm like, bro, T. Higgins is better than a lot of names. You know what I'm saying? And that's, and, that, and that's somebody's third receiver. Right. So, like, we not even, like, he wouldn't even be in this conversation because he's <laughs> not. <laughs> Tyler Boyd did not make the list at all. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just, I personally <laughs> see it like, Yo, there's a lot of upside. Sick of Charles and that's somebody's third receiver. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, and like, he, because he's the third receiver, Odell gonna get way more targets, way mm-hmm. more stuff. So he gonna be by just proxy getting better at everything. Like, I just, so I just don't, I just don't see how you can really have a list, and Odell is not. Like I said, twelve to eighteen or somewhere in that realm. That's now what, that's what I was thinking for real. Now we might see production and it might be something different. Like you might start playing and we might say, Hey, Odell ain't what we thought. But as of today, I'm willing to safely say the twelve to eighteen. Okay, they rocking y'all. When I was in the bathroom, I said in my head, I'll give him thirteen. I was saying fifteen. <laughs> I'll give him thirteen. Exactly. I'll give him the thirteen. So I love that for us. After that list, the list was kind of great. <laughs> Bruh, we were just talking about Drake it. London. Yeah, we said that. We was like, son, T. Higgins. But when you think about it, as a low one on the list. as you as a one <laughs> receiver, on the he's the team. he's the one. They said he took that nigga helmet for a trophy, bro. I was waiting all day for the fight. Oh, oh he wants more. Yes, he pissed. His nose is bleeding. He's pissed. Uh, so, shout out to Lamar. I think Lamar signed the tag. Could be here for one more year. And him and Odell, they'll run it up. Damn. So, you can you gotta go to the locker room. I got too much for the Ravens. You ain't got too much for the Ravens? I gotta stay healthy, though. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting to see all those. I gotta those, stay healthy, though. I'm waiting to see all those quarterbacks get drafted, too. I want to see Anthony Richardson. I, I, know, I, want to see he go. I want him to go to Carolina so bad. I want to see where Will Levis go. I want to see where Will Levis goes. Good off, Will. I want to see where Hooker goes. Yeah, I want to see where, uh... No, head dude. Head dude, Hooker. What's that, old, Tennessee. What's that old nigga name from Georgia? The Stenson Bennett? Yeah. They said five to seven. They dropped the gloves quick. Fifth to seventh round for him, my boy. We, <laughs> see, we see Bennett on day three. What's that, Saturday? Yeah, mm-hmm. see him there. Oh, that's ain't about right. Niggas were slicing him. I'm just like, bro, this nigga 40. Yeah. What is it, 20? 26, 25? Yeah, 25. Something like that. But yeah, I'm, I'm with... I'm with, with the draft. I love the draft. I'm with it. it. I think it's going to be very fun. It was April what? 27. Damn. So Thursday? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thursday, first round. Friday, second, third. third. And I think... Seven. Seven. Four to seven, yeah. So get ready, you guys. Have your popcorn already. Friday is my bag. Friday's your bag? I love the third round, guys. Okay. I'm talking like I'm a scout or something. But <laughs> no, third round. I've always yeah. loved the third round, guys. It's gems. Mom, is it gem? what, are, is what are some gems, third round gems? You One of my favorites, one? speaking from a... Fuck. Russell Wilson? No. As a, as a commander... Football team, Redskins, man. Matt Ioannidis was a guy we got from Temple. Remember what's the Temple? That nigga was tough for us. I really appreciate that. And he was a third round guy. And I was like that. Brandon Sheriff, I believe, was okay. a late Good. guy for us as well. Good pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just like, you, know, you find that stern. Kirk Brandon. Cousins, fourth round pick? Yeah, fuck him. But, um... <laughs> you find that stern guy that's like a good piece of the defense. Like a third Fourth, fifth round type. I like it. I like it. Fuck with that. But there's some notable guys. I don't even know what I'm talking about. A lot of random wide receivers that be like. I'm gonna say that's like a Tyler Lockett was like a fucking a lot of wide receivers coming out the yeah. like, Them niggas be out here. Same thing. Metcalf was a late second round. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. 
or early. I think Tyler Boyd was like a third or fourth round pick. I'm interested in the uh, the first round. Though. I want to see what other quarterbacks. T Higgins, I think. Yeah. T. Really, just I don't even think Bryce is. Is it solidified? He's one because no, I, I mean, feel like they still yeah. CJ Bryce. CJ Bryce. I feel like for Carolina they should go CJ. Okay. Personally, I like that. I feel like it. Uh, I feel like he might fit the the Carolina culture a little better. I feel that they about to squabble again. I'm not mad at the idea. Um, I, I think I think both of them will be really good, but I just think that I feel like it depends on. I think Bryce will be a little bit better at the quarterback if they a little earlier. And I think uh, CJ. I think there's a I think there's a there's a higher uh, ceiling. Who the fuck is two? Who's two? In the draft, Texans. Mm. I think there's a higher ceiling on Bryce than there is on uh, CJ. What are the Texans going? They're going QB? Yes. I got CJ going there. If yeah, CJ goes to the like Texans, that. I think that would be nicer because I think... I don't think that's good The for Texans can get... For some reason, like, people talk about, like, da 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 but Deshaun was pretty good with the Texans, mm-hmm. man. Everything else yeah, yeah. O-line was trash Everything else wasn't good Shoot, But they had receiver Yeah They had a pretty decent offense they DeAndre but Everything else They had David Johnson Yeah They, signed, they ran they, they had He was decent. going off With a shitty They did O-line. have a good year One year They, they had a pretty they decent offense When and Bill then, O'Brien Was just the coach It was the defense When Bill O'Brien Was just the coach And he, he wasn't about to fire. And he wasn't picking He wasn't picking players And, and shit draft picks and shit He was pretty decent So um, Round one mock From CBS Bryce, Carolina, CJ Stroud, Tennessee. Anthony Richardson, Indianapolis. Tennessee. Niggas is trading. Uh, I can see that. Who who traded up to the Texans? They just got the league, though. They don't believe in the league. So who traded up to the Texans? Tennessee traded up to two. Yeah. To select who? CJ. CJ. After the Panthers (laughs) selected Bryce. I don't know. Well, the ten- here's the thing about Tennessee. Like, the third-round pick is not something that, like, especially on a quarterback, you can get out of that. Yeah. So. Malik was third, weren't they? Yep. Yeah. Malik was. So, it's not, it's not. They're not losing anything off of that. Uh, Anthony Richardson and Indy at three. Oh, uh, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a fan's fucking. It's CBS. This feels fanish, man. I feel like I'm watching Pat Max. Yeah, Indianapolis is not drafting Anthony Richardson. Why not? I don't Three. See it. They I were talking about it. getting him. See, I mean Lamar. Mm. Say whatever, bro. One thing on the bro. Bro. Okay, let's go. Will Anderson to Arizona. This is four. Mm-hmm. Jalen Carter to Seattle. Luke Van Ness to Detroit. Tyree Wilson to Las Vegas. Christian Gonzalez to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Quarterbacks, Paris quarterbacks. Johnson, like that guy. Mm-hmm. Paris Johnson to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Devin Willis from the Philly. Mm-hmm. Jackson and Jigba to Houston. He's a Scrancy to Houston. Oh, back to Brock back. Jones is to yeah, the Yeah, because they traded back with the Texans. Uh-huh. So Houston doesn't get a quarterback in this draft. Mm-hmm. In this month. They, they, they go back to back. Maybe they believe in middle. That's not bad at that. If you're going to give him a stud wide receiver. Mm-hmm. Or maybe they're like, hmm, we'll go get Caleb. You know what? I think he's trying to tool up for Caleb. Who? Cool. These fuckers down the street. The managers? I really think they are. That would be smart, though. I don't know. What you about to say? I don't know how smart that is for Rivera. Yeah. Well, he don't care. Because contract is up. Yeah, I mean. And they're not about to... For sure. So I mean, but Rivera don't can't. I mean, I think there's people who are above Rivera, man. So yeah, I don't think. I see them trying to yeah. tool up. Who's if, the if, team? If that was if if <laughs> Rivera was so worried, wouldn't he try to have got a better Who's quarterback than Sam Howell? We don't know yet. Exactly. Like if if Rivera was so worried about maybe what you're he already saying, knows it's over and he's just like that's let's, what I'm let's saying. See what Buddy can do. Well, mm-hmm. then this is for my lasting days. What does that do? He's not he's not an offensive type of guy, so it's not about even him developing. It wouldn't even be about him developing the quarterback. The only thing he can get out of this is like going like maybe like ten and seven, or like nine and eight, and ruining the Caleb thing. Like that's literally the only good that would come out that could save his job. Oh, you had a winning record this year. 
like going ten and seven is probably the only thing that saves his job. That's probably right. So if you go I ten and seven, that. you're not gonna get Caleb. Caleb to the Saints. No way. They literally got Derek mm-hmm. so that they wouldn't be bad enough to go do yeah, something they like got that. Derek, huh? So like, I don't see that. Who need a quarterback? We commanders. <laughs> Besides them. Man, how? Commanders. He was tough in North Carolina. Man, Loki. Like, that's the thing about him. <laughs> what? He was tough in North Carolina. Like, do the, right, do the, do the Buccaneers have a quarterback? Nope. No. Like, there's, there's a few people when I look around, I'm like, do they have quarterbacks? So, I listen. The draft will be here. We'll have more draft talk. But, um... Yeah, anything else we gotta say before we leave? Mm-mm. Stay away from the guns. Stay black. It's the last ten days of Ramadan. You know what I'm saying? About to say, brother, you got anything to tell us mm-hmm. while the Ramadan is coming to an end? No, man. Um, I'm happy that I was able to experience it. Inshallah, I'll make it to the end. You know what I'm saying? May Allah answer my du'as and my prayers. Um, I'm excited for. The eat and the celebrate, give my guys their gifts and stuff like that. So it's just like, yeah, man, we're gonna have gifts. a good time. Order some food, you know. I yeah. like that. Man, have fun, man. The iftar is going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been eating good this uh, this Ramadan. I can't hold you. Alhamdulillah. Love to hear it. A lot of growth too. A lot of grieving. I got a lot of grieving out the way. I love a lot to of stuff it. I was talking about. Uh, the last episode we dropped before we took the break, yeah. While I was talking about, you know what I'm saying, got intimate with my man and we talked about some stuff and he got me right. So, you know what I'm saying, I'm just always for everything. Love. Y'all with that. Love, love to hear. Um, anything else you got to say before we get out of here, Father of Two? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know why you laughed at me. Full body pit. Oh, full body? <laughs> that was the guy. funniest hey, thing <laughs> we've done in a while. That was a, such a great laugh, bro. That was a belly laugh. A lot of tears. Yeah, so um, many. A lot of laughs. Like I said, that's where I had it. That's where I gave it up. Take the full body pit, guys. That's, that's all I got. Mine. If you, but listen, the full body pit lets them know you're not a catfish. So I kind of understand. Man. Like, cause if you the like, selfie and the video should have told you that. Like, why? <laughs> because must you, I go to if the you body? You six foot and you don't do the full body. They might be a little. Just out here lying. Niggas ask for blood. They wanted my damn blood, bro. For real? Blood type. I ain't even see that question. I don't know NA. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> find out. Say. <laughs> like, come on, man. I'm not clicking that shit ever again. Come on, man. We need you. We need you. All love is blind, bro. I got you, Charles. Thank you. Oh. Uh, but I can tell you now, if I'm not featured like on the show, I'm getting the fuck out the house. <laughs> this nigga Luke said, I want my time yeah, on TV. I need my camera time. It's ridiculous. Minnesota came back at one. Yeah, like, what's going on? Bro? See y'all.